Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, as we're down to the last week of the NFL season, I want to take a look at four games this week. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games. The last week of the NFL season, some of these games are really of not much importance because a lot of the, most of the, everything is wrapped up. So a lot of the playoff teams will be resting their starting players. But let's take a look at some of these games anyway. So we're going to scroll down through. It's a full slate of games. We're not going to take a look at more than four of them. And the first game on the list is we keep going down through. Okay is Tampa Bay and Atlanta. Okay, so Tampa Bay enters burning hot. Atlanta comes in ice cold up. You can see that Tampa has won their last two, and three out of their last six, while Atlanta is coming off a win and they are two and four over their last six. Tampa Bay has everything wrapped up. They have really nothing to play for. So uh, despite the fact that they are uh, division winners and much better team overall than Atlanta, Atlanta is a favorite of 1.45 to 2.692. With a line of four and a half points, and you see the over under here is at 40.5. Um, Atlanta giving a 61% chance of winning. Tampa Bay is going to be resting their starters again for the playoffs. Um, as far as the over under goes, you can see that Atlanta has been involved in games under the line in five out of the last six, and Tampa has been involved in games over the line in three out of the last four. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Tampa is at plus 15, while Atlanta is at plus five. Uh, really, a lot of this doesn't mean much of anything, considering that Tampa isn't going to be playing their starters. But just to take a look at these few things here, the stability factor, you can see both teams have been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Um, in the end, I think Atlanta is going to win this game. Tampa Bay really has nothing to play for again. They'll be resting their starters. So let's go with Tampa to win, excuse me, Atlanta to win cover and going to go with a higher scoring game over the line. Okay, the next one we want to look at here is Dallas and Washington. This one does have some meaning, particularly for Dallas. They still have an outside shot at the number one seed in the NFC East if Philadelphia should fall to uh, the Giants, although the Giants probably won't be playing any of their starters. But anyway, um, Dallas comes in here, favorites of 1.31 to 3.36. That kind of translates to a line of minus 7.5 points. So you see the over-unders at 40.5. We see here Dallas has a 75% chance of winning this game. Uh, if we take a look at the over-under, Dallas has been involved in games over the line in all of their last six. Washington only in three of their last six. The score prediction has Dallas 35, Washington 10, with confidence in prediction of 68%. Let's take a look here at the uh, power ranks indicator. You can see here Dallas has been stable at plus 25, while Washington has climbed up a little bit from 18 to 20. Um, if you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, Dallas has been a bit more consistent. It went moderately stable. Washington is only at plus one, and they were up as high as plus two, so they have never really been very stable throughout the entire season. Um, if we take a look here at the movement in the line, has there been any movement in the money line? You can see that opened up at 1.481, and now it, Dallas has been an increasing favorite since then there it's now at 1.31 so i think dallas would win this one easily let's go with dallas to win but i would pass on the over under okay um the chargers and the broncos again here's another game that has really not much importance because the chargers are locked in um you can see that the chargers are burning hot winners of five out of the last six while denver is dead status they have lost five out of the last six but despite that Denver is a favorite of 1.73 to 2.1 with a line of 2.5 and an over under 39.5. Why? Because Denver has, well, really nobody has anything to play for, but particularly the Chargers resting their starters, <clears throat> which gives Denver a chance to come away with the win here. The score prediction has, I don't know why that jumped like that, so let's go back down here. Here we go. The score predictor has, um, right here, 29-20 in favor of the Chargers with confidence in prediction of 68%. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that Denver has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, 
while the Chargers have been involved in games over the line in just two out of their last six. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. Chargers up at plus 24, where they've been stable for the past week. And you can see Denver just completely on a downward trend. They are down to plus one. We take a look at the money line. Has there been any movement in the line? Let's take a look right here. You can see it started here, opened at 2.42. And now the line is at 1.73. And this is the Denver Broncos money line. So you can see this has shifted quite a bit in favor of Denver. So overall, I think Denver is going to come away with the win again. Normally, I would go definitely Chargers, but Denver is going to take this one, and I would pass on the over-under. Okay, so let's take a look at one more. This is actually the most important game of the day, I think, overall in the entire league. Uh, Detroit and Green Bay. Detroit and Green Bay are tied with Seattle for the seventh and final playoff spot in the NFC, so this is a very important game. Uh, Green Bay comes in burning hot, winners of their last four while Detroit's coming in average up there, four and one over the last five, so both teams playing well. We can see that Green Bay is the favorite at 1.51 to 2.72. You can see the line is at minus four, but there has been no over under posted yet for this one. But if you take a look at the score predictor, it's all Green Bay 34 to 15 with 65% level of confidence. Um, they've just been a very hot team right now, so I'm not surprised at that prediction. Um, Green Bay has been on an upward trend, you see on the power ranks indicator from plus 4 up to plus 22, while Detroit has dipped from 22 to 19. Let's take a look at the stability factor. Here's one thing that neither team has been very consistent uh, with regard to the third underdog stats, particularly Green Bay. They are just at zero. They were up at plus 2 back on October 2nd. And Detroit, not very consistent either. They were at plus 4 on October 30th, and now they're down to plus 3. In the end, I like Green Bay to take this one. They are playing much better ball. They're, they're just on a roll. I like the Packers to roll, win, and cover the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the NFL for the final week of the regular season. Happy betting. and. Happy betting.